Hello my friends, and welcome back. In this video, I'll be taking a look at some of the great new features that you can look forward to in the latest release of Como Rebi. Como Rebi is a tiling window manager for Windows, which is written in the Rust programming language. Como Rebi is an educational source project which is free for personal use and requires a license for commercial use. You can check out the link in the description if you'd like to purchase an individual commercial use license to use this software at work. Many employers reimburse software licensing costs, so individual commercial use licenses empower you, the end user, to mediate corporate contributions to the financial sustainability of independent software. The first new feature we're going to take a look at today is the toggle lock command. Usually when you open a new window, it'll be placed next to the currently focused window. However, if there is already a window in that tile, that window is going to get displaced. This displacement can also happen when you close windows on a workspace. When you lock a container using the toggle lock command, what you're telling Komorebi is whenever a new window is opened or if a window is closed, make sure that you never displace the window that is in this container. Thanks to CT Byte, the Komorebi bar now also has a nice little widget to help you identify locked containers and locked containers can also have an independently set border color. Next up, we have a little quality of life addition for the people who are always switching between two workspaces. There are two new commands, move to last workspace and send to last workspace, which will take the focused window on your current workspace and put it on your previously focused workspace, your last workspace. In Como Rebi, all of the move to commands and with the target workspace being focused and all of the send to commands and with the current workspace retaining focus. In the last update, we introduced the ability to manipulate floating windows. In this update, thanks to work done by Alex DS13, we are expanding those abilities just a little bit more. In addition to cycling through floating windows as a list, you can now use the directional move commands so that you can focus different floating windows relative to the position of the currently focused floating window. You don't need to do anything to enable this, it'll work straight out of the box with this update. When the floating workspace layer was introduced, a number of you asked for a configuration option to define what should happen when a new window is launched while the floating workspace layer is active. Previously, windows opened while the floating workspace layer was active would be opened as floating windows. However, in this update, we are changing the default so that new windows opened while the floating workspace layer is active will be tiled. You can explicitly set which behavior you would like on a per monitor or a per workspace basis using the brand new floating layer behavior configuration option. Thank you. 
There are two notable widget improvements in this update, once again, thanks to the work of CT Byte. If you're using a laptop, the battery widget icon will now update based on the battery level. Unfortunately, I can't really show you this because I don't have a Windows laptop. I have a 2011 MacBook Air with four gigs of RAM that I installed NixOS on. In addition to this, it's now also possible to select or hide a widget when its value goes above or below a certain threshold. This is without a doubt my absolute favorite feature of this release. It's now possible to declaratively assign wallpapers to workspaces and to monitors, and you can automatically generate base 16 color palettes from those wallpapers and have them be applied directly to the Komorebi bar and to your window borders. Just like the theme setting, you can set overrides using color palette references. So if you want, you can still tweak different border colors or the Komorebi bar's accent color. The last feature we're going to take a look at today is aimed at reducing interruptions to your state of flow. You can now use the session float rule command to apply a float rule to any window, any pop-up for the duration of a Komorebi session, no matter how many times it is closed and reopened. When you use this command, the window won't just be toggled into floating mode, but an entire float rule will be generated on the fly for this window, and it will be kept separate from the rules you define in your configuration file. At any point in your session, you can run the session float rules command to get an overview of all of the rules that have been added during this session, and then you can copy and paste the ones that you would like to keep permanently into your configuration file. That is all for this update. If you have any questions, you can find me and the rest of the community in the Discord server linked in the description. Before we wrap up, I want to give a very special thank you to all of the sponsors of this project. You are all the best. I also want to remind you all that sponsors now get special roles, access to secret channels, and the ability to add custom emojis on the Discord, as well as the ability to open feature requests on the GitHub issue tracker. There is also a brand new S tier sponsorship level, which comes with all of those perks that I just mentioned and limited edition floppy disk releases of Komorebi complete with Easter eggs. All right, my friends, that is all for this time. I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day, free Palestine, and I'll see you all back here next time.